And greetings. I am Resplendent Seraph. Let's dial that down a little bit. And I today am going to be playing, uh, <laughs> I'm going to hopefully be finishing, but I will definitely be playing the remake of East 4, which is Memories of Celsetta. We almost got there last stream. We were so close. We were so close. We were so close. Um, but I was anticipating that the Temple of the Sun would be the last dungeon. The Temple of the Sun ended up being really, really short. And now we're in essentially the archives and records of the world, which is an entirely different, almost dimension thing. And we almost looks like we're going to have like three hubs of puzzles to solve. And so I think I made the very correct decision at the time to get dinner and just come back to this. So this will be the stream and episode in which we hopefully wrap up East 4 Memories of Silsada in a nice little bow. And so uh, just to quickly summarize, in case you may have skipped an episode or anything else like that, uh, we are playing a game where our main protagonist at all has lost his memories. And it turns out it's because of essentially an effect that is by design by this like angelic force uh, person entity named Eldiel. And he's been using an artifact called the Mask of the Sun to essentially read the blueprints of the world. And he uses that in order to give uh, various cultures and nations certain technological innovations or new discoveries to help essentially maintain balance in the world. It's, uh, it's very Carla-esque from Record of Lotus War. And uh, there have been many, many other parallels, <laughs> mostly unflattering. And so uh, the problem is he seems to have some sort of weird multiple personality disorder thing going on where there's this other version of him that instead wants to uh, unleash devastation uh, and uh, use the records to uh, challenge humanity. Now, it's somewhat unclear whether or not uh, this is one of those, well, challenging times make great men, so to speak. And so Eldiel, in a weird, perverse sort of way, is looking to almost use struggle as a catalyst for humanity to grow itself rather than just be handed things, which is, I, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting idea, but at the same time, like if that's your thought, just like, just do nothing and let, let, let humanity, you know, experience the, the struggle of survival by itself. You don't have to externally introduce that, but, um, but it certainly adds an interesting uh, dimension to, uh, to that weird split personality type of thing. Anyway, so we have successfully given Lord Eldiel the Mask of the Moon, restoring his sanity. He then used that to open the gateway to the records so that we can go through there and stop Gruda, who is this outcast from, um, not Highland Town, the town of Danan, who is essentially going to use that because he's just bitter and angry. And he's going to use that just to mess up everybody's day, mostly because he can't. And so without any other further ado, let's get this party started. Let's fire up Memories of Celsetta. And uh, oh, before we do that, let's actually switch to the end game. That would be helpful. And then, of course, the big question, which I've been debating with myself, has been, I think I'm going to go and try and do some of these other side quests in an effort to make my life a little easier for the end game. Also, buy us some time while people filter in. All right, let's make sure it actually did grab it. There it goes. Let's move our mouse cursor off. Perfect. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Good. And we can now warp everywhere we want. We can even go to the crossroads. But let's... Let's cruise back to Kosnan. It'd also be nice if I could finish off the map, but I don't know what the odds are of actually finishing off the map because I don't know what I'm missing. So that's that's a challenge. I'd probably have to scour everything and try to figure out what I missed where. This dude usually gives us. Come and get latest scoops. Yeah. Okay, yep, let's do that and let's learn something new. Thanks. Well then, today's scoop is about everyone's favorite Governor General, Griselda. Not 100% sure of this one, but it seems she's part of the Roman Imperial family. Well, we recovered a memory, so we know that's we know that's true. 
I don't know what someone like that is doing in a place like this, but it does make you see her in a whole new night, a whole new night, light, Ugh, light, doesn't it? All right, so we, that was 100 gold just to confirm that you're not the information dealer, but you look like the information dealer. Well, let's cruise over here. Let's see if there are any quests we may have missed or if there are any new ones. Got these. Oh, we got the ultimate purifier. I have an important matter to discuss with one of you. Okay, march a bar owner. All right, let's see what you've got. Receive reports first, this giant beast. Ah, okay, Kaznia mine. Well, we'll go in there and defeat that. Sure. All right, this this works. Let's deal with this first. You must be the brave warriors of the Great Forest who've come from afar to fulfill my request. No? That does really sound like us. Sorry, I may have exaggerated a little. You saw my request on the board, right? That sounds about right, yeah. Can you give us some more details? I'd be happy to. I'm sure you remember helping me get some Fabros milk a while ago. Ever since then, I've been wondering endlessly how I could turn the powerful wild taste of that milk into something more palatable. And I think I've finally found the answer. It lies in the existence of the Rota tree. Okay, not sure I follow you, but go on. My interest lies in the Rota tree's purifying capabilities. From what I've heard, the Rota tree uses its leaves to absorb poison and turns it into fruits of energy. And it's that function that which makes Rota leaves the perfect ingredient to complement the Fabro smoke. And in East 2, uh, Rota tree nuts would restore your magic meter. It was really, really helpful. It was almost essential to use those to get through that game. If I had a Rota leaf, I could bring out the true shining potential of the Fabro smoke, or so I believe. Basically, you want us to go and get you a Rota leaf. Precisely. Would you be willing to do that for me? Fortunately, we already have one. And of course, during going, don't give your hopes up, what you're asking for isn't found anywhere. Like, literally, we we have one. We we have one already. Maybe I was supposed to get this quest before getting that leaf, but anyway. I feel like I could count on you to bring me what I seek. Either way, you're my best hope. I'm a man! Yeah, yeah, let's just cash this in. Yep, hand over a Rota leaf. This is an easy cash in. See, so you brought the Rota leaf I asked for. Yep, here it is. Hmm, this vivid green color. These powerful veins. I read that way too enthusiastically. <laughs> it's fresh, stinking fragrance. This is it. This is truly the ultimate ingredient. Oh, Seraph's brain didn't go somewhere. Okay, getting back on track here. And with it, I can now create the ultimate muscle drink at long last. Behold the masterpiece, my greatest creation. I shall name it the Frabros Milkshake Max. That's great and all, but are we going to have a drink? Are we going to have to drink it again? Well, it's only enough ingredients to make this one drink. And its true value can only be fully appreciated when you drink it in one go. So how about you choose one of your companions to chug it down? Uh, who gets to pull the trigger at all? Yeah, I'll drink it myself. Adol took the Fabros Milkshake Max from Mucho and drank it in one gulp. Adol felt power surging throughout his body. Okay, well that's cool. Our <laughs> max HP just increased by 300. Fuck yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, actually delicious. Really, that's wonderful. Oh, it doesn't look like you're lying either. Why couldn't I have drunk it this time instead of last time? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. If I can gather all the ingredients again, then I can... Ah. No. What's the matter? I forgot to write down the recipe. God damn it. A drink was created through a delicately measured harmonious balance that bordered on the miraculous. I fear I'll never make another. All right. So much for buying that for all my companions. Oh, well. Still, I should thank you for bringing me the exceptionally rare ingredient I requested. Here's the reward I promised. Well, I do like money, and I definitely like the HP. But of course, this is nothing compared to the power of muscle memory. As long as I've got these guns, I can easily remember what I did. Oh, man. Oh, this fucking guy. He is always a character. All right, let's see what the story is with you. Ask about this weird boss thing. Reports have said it's established as part of the mine where the monster first appeared. Miners are getting really nervous. All right, well, let's go... Let's go back to the first, at least this place, I know where it is. So let's go to the original mine. The first dungeon, as it were. I'm going to talk to you. Of course. 
Well, let's see what the story is with this. Onwards to the first... To the first, uh, ow. What is that in my eye? That is very, very unpleasant. <laughs> um, I'm guessing we have to go in that direction. Good to hear still money being made from this mine. Right. Yeah, the mine still works. They said where the monster was, so let's go this way. Yeah, we'll go with... Well, no, let's... Let's switch out Frida for... Yeah, we'll switch out Frida for Durin. We'll go back with Varna. You know, it didn't even occur to me if there was something in here I could have bashed down to then explore a little better. Because it's been a while since we've been here. Screws over here. Yeah, I can't bash any of those. But I have not been here since. And we have a ton of new abilities and items that will allow us to explore new things. It's definitely worth... Oh, yeah. And the water. Shit. I could probably explore this. Although I don't think... Now we can go down. But I don't think there's anything over here. It wouldn't hurt to look. I'm still at 99.3. I don't think there's anything else to explore in here, but I felt like the mine did count for a bit of exploration. I could be mistaken. Okay, so there's that. Isn't it a different place? What's going on here? She did say the mine, right? I'm not crazy on that. No, I just didn't go through it. Yeah, all right. Through here we go. Probably could have warped there, but oh well. Well, this looks fun. That's cheesy as hell. Oh, that's so cheese. All right. So I can't let it do that to me. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. We had that thing, too. I was trying to get behind it. You bastard. Fine. Have fun with this, you asshole. This time without leaving the room. Wow, we gained a level from that? Right, and we got this. Oh, we got a raid. Hey, Freakbot, that was fast. Greetings. So we just completed, uh, we just fought an, uh, a optional boss. So let's turn in our quest here. We'll go back to Kaznan City. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's welcome everybody. Hey, Rob, how are you? Oh, I thank you, Nikki, for the shout out and taking care of everything. She is, that's why she's the GOAT mod. <laughs> hey, Raiders, welcome. See, I'm going to try, I did decide to play East 4. We're going to try and beat this game this time. Um, so I'm just dealing with some quest cleanup at the moment. Excellent, why thank you. Yep, 
Rob the Wonderful playing Project X Zone. Awesome streamer. Great game. Uh, obviously, Freakbot, huge friend of the channel. <laughs> Le- Retro Sunday is always such a nice event. Excellent. Yes, Dark Star as well. Shining Force 3 is such an amazing game. Uh, Shining, I still think Shining Force 2 is my favorite of those so far, but I never got a chance to watch or play Shining Force 3. So obviously I never had a Saturn, so I never had a chance to do that. Stellar Blade was super fun to watch. That ghost dude don't stream. <laughs> it has been a while, but Ghosty has made some really, really nice uh, music loops lately. And so, uh, so that's always fun. I listened to your latest ones. Some good stuff, man. Good stuff lately. What? You defeated Albrati? That was supposed to have been on... Damn it. It would help if I actually switched back to the game. <laughs> I was just walking up until that point, so you didn't miss anything. That was supposed to have been an unholy creature of destruction. You must really be something. Well, here's your reward money. Oh, we got money. Oh, we like money. Nothing. All right, so we got Fruit Bat in the Dark, and we completed this quest. All right, so I don't think there's anything else here. Womp womp. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are awesome. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're having fun here. Uh, yes, this will be, if all goes well, this will be the last stream of this. We are near the end of the game. I'm just trying to finish off some other things. I'm trying to get to 100% map completion. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what part of this map I am missing. It looks like it looks like there's something here that I've missed, although I have no idea how I've missed it, right? But it looks like there's a little bit of a fade here, right in here. So I, I think there might be something I'm missing there. And otherwise, the rest of this map looks, I mean, maybe something maybe in here, but I can't figure out again how to get, I can't figure out how to get in there. Uh, so I'm not really sure what, what I might be missing in that. Although we could go back to Table Mountain and just see if I've missed something. It's possible I missed something in Table Mountain. Uh, I've looked here countless times. Every time I've gone back to Highland Town, which this is Highland. Yep, that's Highland. Uh, I can't seem to get anything there. It's just very bizarre how I'm only missing just the slightest sliver of this. But, uh, oh, thank you, Freakbot, for the lurk. Enjoy your dinner. That's usually what's going on. Um, so, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's go back to Table Mountain really fast, just before we go to the end, end area. Of course, it would also be nice if I could also figure out... Is there anything else? So we go up here. Yeah, we completed all that. That all looks complete to me. I don't see anything different. But, you know, it has been a while since we've been up here. Would actually help if I equipped my gel shoes. Let's speed up here, just for the sake of it. We do have to go up here, right? Nope, I'm about to run in a circle. Damn it, Seraph. Get lost again. Have you checked if Beavis and Butthead are at Highland High School? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, they did go to Highland. I did not check for, for Beavis and Butthead, sadly enough. Wait, what was that? What was that? Is there anything up here? No? I think so. But maybe if I just go around here. Let's check. Yeah, it's that faded area over there. And if we keep going up, that's it. So yeah, there's there's just there's just nothing. I can't get any further there. There's nowhere else to go. Man, that is so frustrating. And of course, there is a quest to kill a couple of boars out in here, but I still can't for the life of me find them. So that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe something like here. Yeah, we've been in the everywhere in the Ashen Forest, too. I got nothing. Let's, uh... Before we do that, let's go to the journal. Alright, monsters. We were tasked to 
kill Wait, quests. As new. Let's go to Cell Ray. Yeah, the super weapon test. We need to Rangoas, western part of the Forest of Dawn. Okay, so you know what? Let's Forest of Dawn West, right? Should be Forest of Dawn West. So here's the Beast Plains, Forest of Dawn East. Forest of Dawn Wetlands. Let's go back here. God, Beavs of Bud, it was such an amazing show once upon a time. All right, so we're here. Let's equip. We're gonna make you immune to poison. Let's equip that. You gotta find this thing. Mo uh, journal. Monsters. Rangoa. Of course, don't. Let's go find it again. Yep. Okay, so we're looking for this, like, boar with a pig snout. We need to kill five of these. That's all we need. As soon as we find it. And they're supposedly in the west part of the Forest of Dawn. So they gotta be around here somewhere. It'd be really nice to track these down. Because I think if I just go through the end of the game, it's only gonna be like an hour. And at this point, this is driving... It's bacon hunting time, yeah, right? Let's find some bacon. No, seriously, we gotta... I think they gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah, these are monkey bastard. It was fine until you hit me, bro. bro. Alright. That leads nowhere, but maybe there's some of these weird four things up here. Let's look real quick. Nope. Nothing. Damn. Man, thank goodness for these scale shoes that let me run around a little bit. Okay, so Forest of Dawn Wetlands. Maybe I need to go down then. So I don't think they're I don't think we're supposed to be in the wetlands. Alright. And we're still in the wetlands. Oh, there's still that treasure chest up there. Eh, fine. Let's go get it. I don't think you should be running with knives like that. <laughs> something, something. Don't run with scissors. <laughs> yeah, that never comes back to bite Karna, ever. Okay, but let's... Now we equip the water dragon scales. Let's at least get this last treasure chest. All right, so we picked up the risky bandana. I don't know what that even does, but we have it. Let's get out of here. Nope, away from me. Ow. That's enough to get out of you. Um, okay, now I don't have to worry about that treasure chest. So, Forest of Dawn is around here somewhere. Right? So here's, here's the main Forest of Dawn. Here's Forest of Dawn East. So, maybe it's this? I mean, we're about to get to the darn Forest of Dawn East anyway. We may as well just keep going down. Oops. I only had a brain here. What am I doing? There we go. Man, these wetlands are... As annoying as I remember. Yay, a risky bandana! <laughs> and God only knows when I was supposed to actually get this thing. Although, I should check, right? Who knows? Maybe this thing is, like, the most amazing thing ever. Risky bandana. 
mean, it's actually pretty neat. It boosts your strength by 15 at the expense of defense. That's not terrible, actually. I mean, the Power Ring 4 is better. I could give her something better, though, I think. Gold Dragon Shard. Ah, prevents misfortune, huh? That works. Sure. We'll give her the Golden Axe. You guys still do all this? Man, I was totally justified from running from them earlier. Alright, there's nothing useful there. Okay. Okay, this leads to the camp. So... West Forest of Dawn should be this. Forest of Dawn East, but I think if we go through that way, we're no longer... Er, right, this is a this is a block thing. We can't go any further past this. Grr. It's like so annoying. Let's go. Leave it to me. See, so yeah, the only other way to do this is to go around the other way. Yeah, it just, just drives me crazy. Peak exit. Oh, let's go to the let's go to the stream. Maybe it's over here. Back to the forest of dawn. Forest of dawn stream. Maybe it's by this area? Is that possible? I don't think so. There are more of these like spider monsters. Oh jeez. Where is this? What is this guy? Nope. Forest Labyrinth fucked that place. I'm not going back in the Forest Labyrinth. We'll get lost in there. I feel like we already went through here so many times. I do not see these things for the life of me. I think this is the ruin. Yep, this is just the ruin. Nothing up here. Right? Nothing to kill up here. See anything? Yeah, there's literally nothing up here. My own amusement. Can't actually get past there. Looks like I can, but can't. Okay, well, fine. Yeah, there's nothing else here. This drives me crazy. And we, yeah, we, we went this way, I think. Right? Yeah, we did go this way. Maybe it's a misprint and they meant east. Is that is that is that could be what's throwing us off. Maybe it's a misprint and they meant east. Can you imagine if it's a freaking misprint and we've been looking in the wrong part of the forest this whole time? Let's just make sure. I mean at this point, I'm starting to run out of ideas. Come on, Adol. Go this way. Don't get stuck on the terrain. Alright, I want to go this way. 
Or this way. Yeah, I think I want to go this way. Let's just check really fast. And if not... Whoop. What are these? I think these are just close. I don't think these are what I'm actually looking for. These are different. They don't have the, uh... They don't actually have the tusks. They're close, but it's not what I'm actually looking for. But at least it's close. Yeah, and this was the other area I couldn't get into before. <sighs> Maybe they're in the Beast Plains. Maybe they're in the Beast Plains. So I've not looked in the Beast Plains at all. Nope, it's just these things again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not... It's not what I'm looking for either. But maybe they're here? Let's look around real fast anyway. And if not, we'll kill that other monster that we were sort of sent to do and I got sidetracked. Yeah, this is this is a fool's errand. I don't know why they don't give me a good map marker for where those monsters are. That's so frustrating. Make you like guess. Now granted, sometimes it's Okay, I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth right now, but so there are some times where like I play games and I'm like, man, I wish they wouldn't do that. I don't need my handheld that much, but like in this case, they tell you go to Forest of Dawn West. Like, none of these map markers are labeled Forest of Dawn West. Not a single one of them. And so, with that comes the, well, where are they really? Uh, <laughs> you know, where is this, where is this monster? Like, I can't even figure out where in this gigantic fucking forest, where the monsters are that they want me to kill five of. I really, I really don't. I met my, I met my wits end with that. At this point, I just, I just don't know anymore. Um... All right, let's go. Let's go back to Komodo. Let's see if there are any quests to do in the Komodo. Leave it to me. I mean, at least it's optional, so it's not really the end of the world. But at the same time, boy, that is annoying. That uh, I would like to do that quest, and I can't. And I can't do it just because I I don't even know where those enemies are. And it all has to do with the fact that they don't really tell you very well. That's a little frustrating. Later games are much better about that. <laughs> when they tell you, go to such and such place, it's going to at least be in that re in that region. Let's see. Is there anything to at least buy here? Yeah, it's still all the same prices. We've got a bunch of them. Yeah, I don't need this stuff. We're good. We're good. I just need to remember where the darn uh, quest thing is. Might be up here. Nope, it's not. It's been a while since we've been in Komodo. Nope, let's go up. It's neither of these places. Up we go. Might be this one. But I don't think. Nope, it's not. You're the accessories, dude, which is convenient. There we go. Let's see. Ooh, we got new ones. Uh, my dear Tiv has run away from me. Would someone please help me find him? Explain everything to a new person. Oh, goodness gracious. My material is for me. Okay, that's fine. We can go there. I've occupied the waterfall cave, which is full of natural resources. Please drive them away. Okay, well, that should be fairly easy to do. <laughs> the, rib the ribby magi. <laughs> Natural resources. We've already defeated a bunch of these. So that shouldn't be too bad. We'll do this really quick. Let's just do a couple of these quests just because, um, hopefully, with any luck whatsoever, we'll end up. Okay, we don't need to do any of that stuff. Well, let's talk to the chieftain. Maybe there's some new dialogue. Considering we found Remnos and all. Remnos, looks like you have something to say to me, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I finally managed to snap Remnos back to his senses. Did you? 
I did. It wasn't easy, but we managed to free him from the enemy's control. He's resting somewhere safe now. So happy to hear that. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. I think you have a lot to ask me, but I want to, and I have a lot to tell you, but I understand. You intend to stay with that all until he has finished what he set out to do, correct? You can always see right through me. Maybe I do take after you. <laughs> no. No maybe about it. If that's your decision, any matters we have to discuss can wait. Please take good care of Karna at all. And be sure to come back here when you've finished your journey. I'll hold a feast in your honor. I'll never say no to food. <laughs> that's my line. I'll hold you to your word. And I won't forgive you if you break it. We're going to go now, Father. Do it your best out there, Karna. Alright, so I was glad I came over here for that little... Homecoming... Let's go down here. Let's just do a couple of these. See what the story is. Yep. Head down. We probably have so many materials that we'll just be able to hand these over. That's going to be my guess. Terribly sorry to troubling you with this again. Would you be willing to bring back another of my dear little ones? Yep, let's accept. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. So what are we looking for this time? Claim this little Tiva has run away. Still just to check. So he's full of energy and just loves playing around. He particularly enjoys hiding in the shade. Chick hiding in the shade. Sounds like a tall order this time. And just as cautious as Sashimi too. So you need to approach him from behind, just like before. And I don't think he'll like, it's likely have wandered in anyone's home either. So he should be somewhere outdoors. In the village, outside, same as last time. Check. Just leave anything us. We'll have him back here before you know it. So we gotta find another one of these chicks. We'll find it. It'll be around here some... Yeah, there was no way to get to that one but from behind. We're not going to be approach it from here. Yep. All right, but so we're looking for that one. We'll find it. Ooh, there you are. Got you. That was actually way easier than I thought it would going to be. <laughs> Let's get you back to Pee Pee. Or Pippi. Thank you so much for bringing my lovely team back home, safe and sound. Here's the reward. Oh, we'll take gold ore. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> the naughty chick. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> What's wrong, Pippi? I'm sorry to keep bothering you, but I think you can guess what happened. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Again? I only took my eyes off her for a second. Ugh. So I was up to put another request on the board. I'm so sorry to keep troubling you, but if you get the chance, I'd really appreciate your help. Oh, good grief. <laughs> All right, let's go grab this one. Really appreciate your help. Which one is it now? Sukuni. It's recognizable by his brown feathers. Probably the most energetic of all my little babies. He's cautious. Needs to be approached from behind like usual. Tends to wander a little bit further. Let me guess. Yep, outside the village. Afraid that's quite likely. Even if he has it, won't be far. I think it's likely he's somewhere on the plains just outside the village entrance. All right, we should have a chance of finding him out there then. We just saw him before. It shouldn't be too bad. Um. No. Wait. Accessory shop must be up here. My. Man, that flag is so weird. Maybe it's this one? Yep, it's this one. Hey, nice to see you. There's actually another material I'd like you to bring me. I read about an old book from the forest. Supposedly it's a real tough kind of hide you can forest from beasts in the primeval lands. It was simply as a bizarre hide. I made it across the river, so I thought it might be possible to find some in your travels. Alright, how many bizarre hides do you want? Uh, okay. Well, I think I already have some of those. I do. Perfect. Is this what you were looking for? So strong, yet so flexible. Yep, exactly what I was looking for. Well, let's see what we got from this. Not so bad if I do say so myself. Okay, well, that is pretty badass. Good old life ring three. That's gonna give us like 
think 300 hit points. That's one down. Sweet. Oh, good grief. Okay, this is my fault for not coming back here sooner. What do you need? All right, let's do it. Although if we got that from last time, let's see what this guy's gonna give us now. What other material? Excellent ancient text, blah, 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 blah. Refer to these titanic bones. Yeah, we've got some. I think we've got a titanic bone. I think we've got like three or four of those. Yeah, we have a titanic bone. I'll just give it to him. I mean, on the plus side, these are really easy to cash in. Let's see what he's going to give us this time. Very sturdy indeed. Should be able to make some incredible things with this. All right, what are you making with this titanic bone, buddy? Let's do it. This might be my crowning achievement to date. Here you go. There we are. Never seen anything less well crafted before. Crafting means let me. Just give me the materials. That up. Sweet. Oh, we can craft additional accessories, huh? Well, let's see. So, uh, revives wearer once upon death. We've got that. Let's see. Golden axe, silver axe. Yeah, I just unlocked a lot of these. Monstrous talent. Well, we could craft another gold dragon charm. But I'm not seeing anything on here that's like, oh man, we need that. <laughs> yeah, I still can't get the hero's cloak because I still don't have Monkey King's hair. That part's a little annoying. But neither here nor there. Okay, well, we've dealt with the quests that we had. Let's go track down this other chick. Let's just make sure it's not on here. Nope, just... Just little pickards. That was pretty badass. It's always nice when we get cool items for giving them to animals. Right. So, it's probably on the plains somewhere here. We got a chick to find, huh? Question is, where is this stupid chick gonna be? I'm guessing it's gonna be down here somewhere. Let's go track it down. We're looking for. There it is. Look the other way, you chicken. There you go. Got it. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Let's take you back to Pippi. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, here's the reward I promised. Gold ore times 18. Wow, I got a shit ton of gold ore. I gave an eye. Thank you, Carter, for saying exactly what we're all thinking. I don't want another missing chick or child quest on the board. <laughs> my eyes shall never wander again. They'll be my little prisoners. Oh my goodness gracious. That was nothing. But it did end up being pretty easy. All right, so hopefully that's enough of that. <sighs> yeah, it'd be nice if I could do the super weapon test. I just can't figure out where those fucking things are. Probably should just go to Highland real quick and see if there's anything to go there. They'll probably send me to kill a monster of some sort. It's amazing that I still can't seem to figure out where um, where those other monsters are. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, purchasing silver. Oh, right. I want to purchase three silver ingots. A few pages of my favorite notebook. Can't seem to be able to... Oh, right, yeah, we I have no idea where that is. A terrible Avis world screaming. I'm able to sleep because of it. Please come and speak to me. I'll be near the entrance of town. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how we would do the other... That other quest. The cemetery, or the, um... The named one. 
I mean, we just have to run around talking to everybody. That just sounds tedious as hell. Ah, Kalilika, I see the red-headed traveler is with you too. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't usually believe in those things, no, but there's been a lot of weird crap lately, so anything's possible. We literally just talked to the ghost of King LaFont. Like, hello, yes, there are ghosts. <laughs> like, really? Well, at first I thought it was just imagining things, but when I listened carefully in one part of the graveyard, I could hear a faint voice. And it sounded like it was coming from beneath the ground. It's like a groan or a moan or something like that. Whatever it was, it sure didn't sound like anything from this world. It must have been a cry from beyond. Don't you agree, Mr. Tittles? <laughs> Alright, Mr. Tittles is now like my favorite cat in this game. I see, I think I might have an idea what's going on. Really? I can't be quite sure what you mean by not sending anything from this world, but I'm guessing it could have been a wild beast, right? Well, there... And as far as it coming from beneath the ground... Well, think about what's under that graveyard. You know what I'm getting at, right, Adol? Yep, the underground ruins. Not that I expected you to get it wrong. Whatever, Cordelia, you need to grow up and stop messing around. Everyone in Highland knows about that place, so I'm sure you could have worked out where the sound originated from. So really, you just put out this request to try to mess with us, didn't you? <laughs> okay, you got me. You could have at least played along a little bit, though. I suppose that means this request is a monster extermination. The fact you could hear it at all means it must be fairly close to the surface. That isn't something we can overlook. Let's go and finish this up quickly, Adol. Well, that should be pretty easy. We'll go to... Yeah, we'll just go to the plateau path. Let's just... Let's just skip right down to the bottom. I didn't miss anything up here, right? Nope, I didn't. Do it. Let's go back to the underground path, which is how we originally crossed the river. Well, let's see what we got. We shouldn't have to go... Yep, we don't have to go far at all. Here they are. Let's see, what are we fighting? Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> they do a nice job of communicating a lot with just emojis. Wow, that guy hits like a truck. Ow. Damn, just a Damn, dude. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we uh, curb stomped them pretty good. Now let's go back to Highland Town. Cash that in. Get some money. Oh, and then I guess, yeah, we'll go down to the lo to those records and deal with all those puzzles. We did, although they were more monster than they were animal. They'd organized into a small group. It was a little unsettling to see, actually. Huh. Maybe now that the barrier is gone, they decided it would be a good opportunity to try to invade Highland. <laughs> As if. What's with that look on your faces? Did you actually think I was serious? Well, I'm sure it was just my imagination. Yeah, no doubt. Just say, I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble for you. Please, take this, along with my apologies. That's one down. There. So we got money. Let's take money. We're at least doing as many of these other mini quests as possible, but I think that's about it. I mean, unless there's something to do with non-village. Um, secret synthesis. 
don't remember what that quest was. Yeah, the super weapon test. Purchasing silver. I don't think we have those silver ingots yet, though. Believe it or not. But I think we're pretty hosed here. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just get on with it. Vesuvio. There we go. Alright. Enough. Enough wasting time. Let's do this. We're in the world of records. Alright. <sighs> let's go this way. I hate those, uh, kind of gear puzzles. So let's save that for last. Let's see what we got over here. In the meantime... Let's do that. Let's see what we've got. Probably gonna still take me a while to figure out how all this shit goes. Should have really dodged that. Okay, so we need that. out of range. What's going on here? Oh, shit. Great. Raise thine hand and the land shall return to its rightful place. Oh, I think I see how that's... Okay. No, let's not do that. But good to know. Alright, so if I go to that monument and raise my hand, I think everything's going to reset. Which could be convenient. So if I step on that, it's going to move means... Let's just see how... F oh. problem is if I step on it here, it's gonna move. Damn. Alright, so it's probably gonna... How is it gonna shift? Probably gonna shift over here and connect us up there. Okay, that was the correct one I wanted to do. Good. My turn. Let's open that up. Alright, well. Probably nothing I'm going to use, but need to have anyway. Okay, so we can go over here. Yeah. Better just go over there and find out what it is now. Oh. Ah, uh, okay, this one's pressed down. Okay. So I can run back over them multiple times. It's going to shift over, and then I can go back over it there. Okay. That's not too bad. And if I really fuck up, I could go back to that monument. I could warp to the crossroads, go to the monument, raise my hand, and reset the whole thing. So you have a built-in can't um, can't truly trap yourself in here. Definitely liking that freeze. Okay, so if I press that, it's going to reset again. So I don't want to do that. Yeah, that'll reset. Or that'll push it back over. Don't want to do that, for sure. I do want to move this over more. What happens if I do this?
I probably wanted to go that way first to find out what was over there, but we're here now. Let's see what the story is over here. Yeah. Well, we're certainly... We're well, we definitely going to have to take a look at that aura fencer thing we just picked up. Beware the witch's stairs. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to auto kill me. Um, oh. Straightforward. I like it. Oh, shit. I didn't kill you. Man, kind of fucked you up, buddy. So here's the problem. I know there's more to this area that I didn't do. Oh, I really... All right, so I'm going to need to trip that. Probably go over there, trip that. Oh, shit. Okay. I see how this is sort of going to work. Okay, I sort of see how this is going to work. All right. Seraph, the term you're looking for is idiot proof. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that. But yes, Rob, you're absolutely right. Um, okay. Do I go back for that? Or do I go through this whole thing and then just go do that later? That might be. Let's. Shit. Well, that's what happens when you... I didn't think I was... Th I thought I had further to go. <laughs> Whoops. My own fault. Well, now I know what happens when you uh, just run into it like an idiot. That was a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, man. Ow. <laughs> Ouch there. <laughs> Yeah, that was painful. Man, that is a beautiful background, though. Okay. So, yep, can't step on that. Ow. Meant to jump around that way. Okay. Now. Why? Damn it, there was nothing to even get over here. Fuck. Yeah, there was no reason to ever come over here. Okay. Well... Better to know now. Flip this back. We'll head back over. Try not to run into the damn witch's eyes again. That fucking hurt.
Yeah, we'll do this. Better to know I'm not missing anything. Yep, that's gonna trip. And then we have an adventure to figure out how to deal with that. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, Mike, but I still can't go back that way. I'll still tr I'll move the damn thing every time I try to go back there. I think I see how to do it, though. Okay, let's do that. Damn. No, it isn't. Shit. <sighs> Pushes it back up. How do I get to that treasure chest? Huh. Maybe there's something up there that will activate? Why don't I just keep going for now? Hmm. It's gonna, yep, that's what I thought. Go over here first. Right. Yeah, okay, fine. No more. Take advantage of this to go over here and grab that chest. Oh shit! I like that ability. That looks awesome. What the fuck did I just pick up? Artifact. Is it a key item? Just occurred to me, I have his shit weapon equipped. Ah, it's a good weapon for him. Perfect. All right, well, that worked. Got another rota leaf. Sweet. Okay. So if I go this way, I might actually want to go this way first, but we'll see. Well, no mu not much choice here. Although I do have a couple of choices here. It's like... Hmm. So up here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
see what's in here. We'll take that. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Of course, we can't advance this way because the second we step on that. Well, no, once we step on that, we're just going to be trapped on the other side of it. That's really not a big deal. Okay, so we could reset the damn... Gotcha, and if I reset the puzzle... That should reset the... Actually, I should reset this. Yep. Raise your hand. Let's reset it. And now I should be able to reach... Now I should... Okay. As long as it goes... Damn it. Not that direction. am I supposed to reach that treasure chest? There's nothing else up here. I feel like that... Damn. <sighs> is that treasure chest even worth it? What type of treasure chest is it? treasure chest is in there. Good grief, man. Okay, so that's connected to that right now. Back in this position. But as I go up that way, once I hit that one, it should... Here's the problem. So it's connected now the way it should be. What am I missing? Is it just as easy to just go over here? step on this thing and then go get it? It probably is. Yep, there it is. Okay. My turn. <laughs> Boy, this better be worth it. Okay, yeah, that is much better armor. Goddamn. 
So yes, that was actually worth it, believe it or not. Okay, so now... Uh, right. Now I need to go all the way back, reset the damn thing, and go back through it. Okay, that was the problem with doing it this way. Okay, but now I can reset it. Head back. At least I don't think there's any other way of going about it. I think I have to now go back, reset it. Right? Yeah, I think I have to reset it. I don't think there's any other way to do this. Right? Or can I get through it now? I think if I go through here, the, the damn thing is currently in the wrong position. I think I have to reset the puzzle. Yeah, I have to reset it. I've inverted everything now, so it's not a big deal. It's just over here. Raise my hand. Reset. Perfect. Okay. Now the switches are in their correct orientation. Now I can get back, and away we go. It was actually worth it. It's just tedious to now have to go back through the puzzle. Trip the thing. So I'm getting the theme that there are going to be a bunch of various puzzles. This type of puzzle, though, doesn't isn't nearly as annoying to me as those uh, circular gear puzzles. I'm really not looking forward to doing that in the right corridor. And you know there's going to be some sort of crazy boss at the end of this shit each time, right? You just You just know it. Now we can get back. Somewhat clever, if tedious. And now that we've killed all the monsters, it's much more navigable. Or navigable. Or right? Is that the word I'm looking for? Strip this one. Go back over here. And now we're out. Hoo boy. Okay. Now that we're on the other side of it, we're already good. Yep, so we never have to do that puzzle again. <laughs> And now for all our trouble, let's see if I'm right and we're getting a boss battle. Demonstrate the power of the Beast King and thou shalt be blessed. What does that mean? Okay. 
No. Here I go. Time to finish this. Here. My turn. Leave it to me. Oh. Yeah, it should be. All right. Never mind, that's all I was supposed to do. Although, man, I would have really liked to have had that special move still available to me. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see what other bullshit I've got up here. In the back. Okay. Oh, lovely. I see what's going on here. First things first. Let's heal. And it looks like we have even more treasure chests. All right, so we've got teleport mirrors. Let's see if the mirror just teleports us right across the way. That would be nice. It'd be really confusing if these just teleport us into random areas to further uh, spatially disorient us. That was the problem with Darm Tower in East 1. All those mirror mazes, you'd go in one mirror and you'd end up in a completely different spot of the level or in a different floor entirely. And you're just like, wait, which way am I going? <laughs> and you just had to brute memorize what mirror led where. And of course, there was the really kind of almost evil one where you had to go through the mirror and then go right back through it to advance further. So the first time you're trying to figure it out and you don't know that trick, you're just going around in circles trying to figure out what on earth you're doing wrong. Let's also save. Let's, just save. Let's find out if it does indeed take us there. Does look like it does that. Good. Okay. Man, that is an awesome skill. Okay, so let's go here, and let's go down, get this treasure chest. Oops. Would have been nice if I could have hit that guy. Oh, Rotafruit, huh? Cool. Ah, oh, well, we'll definitely want this, whatever this is. Let's see what we got. Life elixir, we'll take that. Since Adol's usually who I'm controlling for boss battles. Let's head back, actually, and let's get that other treasure chest. So far, so good with this. Alright, picked up a Selsetin flower. Neat. See what else is going on here. Oh, good. Frida leveled up. Wow, Frida's a lot. Frida's four levels behind Adol? Wow, that's pretty crazy. I wonder why Frida's so many levels behind Adol. Wow, okay, we're all the way up here now. 
That's probably a treasure chest we're gonna want. Let's go get it. I almost wonder if I should take over uh, Frida here for a second. There's another one out here though, be careful. So we've gone most of this. I think that's the way out. So I kind of inclined to go this way. Thank you. I'm kind of wanting to get that aura blade leveled up. So that's why I'm spamming it a little bit. If I can get that to level two, I think that would be in my best interest here. Plus, definitely kill you with that. All right. Plus, I'm killing the shit out of these things with that. Oh, you bastard. I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys already killed it. Okay. That heavy's gonna wear off in a second. Thank you. Right. Uh, kind of hoping to catch you in that, too. I don't know what a Kaiser Potion is, but we'll take it. Where is it? Damn that thing, where is it? Certainly are making me work for this. Jeez. Alright, so we went through... Wow, okay. Yeah, this is a... Jeez, and there are going to be three of these fucking things. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Got out of there just in time. Okay, so that's obviously the way we're supposed to go. Let's see what's over here. Is there a treasure chest? Oh, good grief. Hurry up and heal from the heavy. Leave it to me. <laughs> oh, there's a good treasure chest over there. Berserker armor plus one, huh? Does improve strength. I'd rather have the defense personally. All right, Durin, you're getting that because it proves everything. Sweet. This is Leave it to me. Leave it to me. All right, so now we just have to figure out how to get over there. Oh, I was over there. God damn it. All right, but now we know how to get there. Let's go. Damn it. Leave it to me. Let's just run with Durin here real quick. Let's Actually, go. I'll run with Karna. So I can fuck shit up. I love the fact that Karna can attack at range. Hell yeah. That'll teach you to fuck with me. Leave it to me. Ow. I missed. Didn't miss that time, though, boy. Okay, so now we gotta go up this way. 
don't go in that. We're gonna go down this way. Anything this way? Nope. Nothing there. Nope. Fuck you. Damn it. Had enough of you. Alright. Oops. Okay, now we got to figure out what the flash bracelet does. Probably... Cover HP on a successful flash guard. Okay, that is fucking cool. I don't do flash guards a lot. I'm usually doing flash moves, but that is fucking awesome. Uh, yes, I think we will switch that when I'm doing boss battles. Yep, that's the button for that. So I gotta do that more often, especially during a boss battle. Okay. So now I get to go all the way back there. Okay. Yeah, it would have been nice if I had done that the first time. Didn't kill him the first try. Ugh. Whatever. Let's do this. I don't even know what Misfortune does. I mean, it looks bad, obviously, but other than that, I'm not really sure what it is. Alright, let's heal. Let these status effects wear off. Oops. Jeez. Just trying to rest here, and you guys keep fucking showing up, ruining my day. Let's see if we can hang it over here for a minute. Thank you. Hey, Crosshair, how are you, my friend? Hope you're having a great weekend. I actually hope everybody's having a great weekend while we uh, wait for Adol to heal himself here. We're going to try and beat Memories of Salsetta today. We're going to try. <laughs> Although I said that yesterday, during the day. And then we, lo and behold, we discovered this entire other mystical world in the records that's uh that's been a thing so far this is good it allows me to clear my eye there's like this really annoying eyelash in there okay but our sp meter is maxed out our uh special attack meter is maxed out so that's going. all good yeah i know durin i've got a lot of health okay <laughs> i need to heal there we go. All right. So we're going to equip that. And then we're going to equip. Yeah, let's equip that. Cool. We're also going to save. Surprised it, uh... Oh, shit. That looks awesome. Yes. 
Yes, that is. Okay. Once we get to a monument and we can... Well, look at that. How convenient that... Wait. Do, 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 do. Warp. Uh, yes. I think we can... I think the one Rue can reinforce our weapon. I don't even think we need to talk to them. I think we just do it. Yep, can't understand a word you're saying, but I could still... Nope, I can't actually do that. Fuck, fine. We can buy stuff from him, but can't actually do what I would want to do. Uh, I think that's Highland. That's Cell Ray. That's right. Okay. Let's go back to Cell Ray here. Man, what I would do to figure out where those stupid, you know, weird boars are. Would love to just kill five of those and complete this quest for this, but oh well. Let's reinforce that with... Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll get burn, frozen, and all that from it. Although, shit, I'm probably better off just selling it. Yeah, we need three of those to, to cash in that one quest. But well, we got a ruby. You know what? Let's just... Let's do that. Let's give it frozen, because frozen turns out it's awesome. And then we can do absorb and crit. Is drill beak, sharp horn. Well, we would boost attack and frozen. Or we could do this monstrous talon. Hammer beak, let's see. Actually, take a look here. Yeah, nothing really great here. I don't know what that even does. We've got a couple of them. Does it reduce the amount of SP I'm using? Is that what's going on here? I still don't really know what this gold pedestal replica is for. So I think I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> that might be a quest thing later. Got a bunch of onyx. I could just upgrade the uh, crit on this. Or I just boost poison, burn, and frozen with this and call it a day. It's not like I'm going to use this rune blade for anything else. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Alright, and then... That really becomes cost prohibitive. Hey, Kara, greetings. Uh, we are in the process of playing. Yeah, let me switch to just chatting here for a quick second. Yo, greetings. Welcome, Raiders. I'm playing uh, East 4, Memories of Celsetta. We're trying to actually beat the game here. I'm kind of at the end zone of it, and I am I just picked up a super dapper sword, so I'm kind of upgrading the sword at the moment. But yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to go right into a boss battle. How was uh, that super creepy game you were playing? <laughs> oh, you ended up playing Helldivers 2. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, that's that's the hope. Uh, and <laughs> and all that. So greetings. Welcome to the stream, Kara. Friend, friend, of the, uh, friend of the stream. Yeah, switched for a bit. Nice. Nice, yeah. I was lurking a little bit when you were playing the weird, the creepy train game. Um, yeah, I was... That, and then you were playing... Um, was that an indie game with uh, with the Watchtower? Or... Yeah, you should try that one. Yeah, you know what? I should try that one. I will definitely fire that up uh, at some point. So let's uh, let's get back to let's get back to this while we while we welcome everybody. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to boost this sword. And we're getting to a point where some of this is really cost prohibitive. 
Like, I feel like that would be a good material to do, but that's also a crap ton of money. And even though I've got a crap ton of money, I don't necessarily think that's a good use of my money. So I think we're good here. No, we're good. Let's... Let's warp back to where we were, that end zone. Okay, so we got, yep, the bronze area. Let's do it. Shinkansen Zero. Yeah, that looked, that looked beyond creepy. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get that mouse cursor out of the way. That's super annoying. So my suspicion is we're going to have three mini bosses and then one end boss. Oh yeah, I already don't like the look of that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Garugamesh. <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing if that was the actual boss battle of that. Okay, well, I'm glad I avoided that. Ow! Whoa. Okay, so he does that like three times. Okay, so that's pretty easy to dodge. Damn. I said that, and then immediately got curb stomped. Now it's time. Yeah, I wasn't going anywhere near that. Nope. Miss me with that shit. Oh, that's a different attack. That's what I was waiting for. Hey, ow. I really should have been able to dodge that. Man, that attack really messes you up. We got him. Damn. Okay, shit, shit, shit. I'm so close to the end of this. Ow. Fine. I really didn't want to use a healing item. I thought I had him. I feel like I still do, but oh well. I heal up a little bit. Uh, man, this guy's really... There it is. It's over. Damn it. I knew I didn't have to use that healing item. I knew I didn't have to use that healing item. Ugh. Wrap on a stick. But alright, that wasn't so bad, and it only had one health bar, thank goodness. Okay, so that's one, yep. One lock unlocked. So now let's go down the middle one, and we'll save our favorite puzzle, the one I looked right at and went, nope, and raided Freakbot yesterday. <laughs> we'll go down the middle one. So how's everybody's weekend doing while we do some major walking here? Hope everybody's having a lovely weekend. Does anybody have any 4th of July plans coming up next week? Let's see what the puzzle is for this area. Making cookies. Nice. Oh, man. I've been, I've, it's been a while since I made cookies. I should totally pick up cookie materials. Wow, these things look like the boss we just killed. Whoops. Let's not go through that. Oh, let's also... There it is. Let's gain XP by walking. <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
<laughs> okay, well, whatever it is, it's dead. What the fuck is this? Three circles are carved upon the pedestal. Oh my god. What kind of fresh hell is this? Okay, I don't... I don't press on this, as far as I know. I plan on uh, nor being broke this forth by not spending on fireworks. <laughs> yeah, fireworks are expensive. They are very expensive. Okay, so we have to find these crests and just put them in there. All right, it's a scavenger hunt. Fair enough. So do I do? Is it here? Nope. I'm gonna go over here. Whoops. Fortunately, these things seem easy to deal with. Hold up the wind crest. And yeah, we had some crazy rain uh, in South Florida today. Oh my goodness. It rained like basically almost all day. Strong winds have begun to... Ah, okay. We go over here and it's just going to blow us up. Got it. Ooh. have hit that at least once. Okay, so we've done that. Oh, we could also probably go over that way too. You know what? Let's find out. Can I in fact go up this way? No. I cannot yet go up that way. Fine. But it was worth looking for just in case there was some super cool treasure chest that was hidden over there. We gotta do this. That's enough of that. Ow. Now that. Damn. So are you. Damn. I gotta stop getting. Uh, okay. Okay, that doesn't work. Hmm. Last time we used an artifact to get past something like that. I don't know what to do with that yet. Let's come back to that. Damn it. Okay. Ow! Ow! Hold up the wind crest again. Let's see what this does. Alright, so that deactivated that. Strong winds have weakened. Okay. So here's what this is going to go. Now we go back down. Now those strong winds should be over. And then we can go back over there. Turn the damn thing back on. Yep. I was right. No, get out of that. Perfect. All right, so we got ourselves the wind crest and the rain crest. And I'm guessing we're going to have to choose which ones we're going to be activating at certain junctures. Because of course we are. Let's see what this story is. Yep, alright, so that'll be the wind crest for that one. What's the story up here? Oh. Ooh, okay. We just got somebody else's ultimate weapon. Whose is that? That looks like Kalilika's. Nope. Yep. All right. So that being the case, we'll swap out Frida and Karna. 
since we have their ultimate weapons. At least I'm guessing they're their decent ultimate weapons. I mean, just kind of look at them. Alright, so let's hold up the wind crest. Yep. Let's hold. Nope. Shit. What does this actually do? Alright, so that raises that. Okay, that'll allow me to proceed that way. Well, let's also hold up the wind crest again. Now let's see what's stored on there. Here we are. <laughs> Enough out of you. Here we go. Damn. Wait to try this out. Now nice. Okay, that looked awesome. <laughs> Ah, we picked up another hero's ring. Cool. So now we can do that with multiple people here. Leave everything Sweet. to me. How much does it cost to do? It's pretty cheap, but it's super weak. Raise this party strength. Oh, she could use that to raise the party's strength. That's a pretty cool uh, buff. So we got Cositus Drive, Demonic Vortex, Fairy Strike. That's pretty neat. We'll go with uh, a nice little party buff. That was pretty cool. All right. All right. Sweet. Back up we go. Wait. Guessing I had to choose here. Ah, uh, okay. So I do have to choose between them. I mean, that was the order of things we wanted anyway. It just would have been convenient if they both would have stayed active, but not the other one. Oh, you froze me, you bastard. Go, Adol can finish them off. Damn it. Let's see what's doing over here. Oh, shit. Damn it. Ow. Ow. Man, these guys are really fucking me up. Enough of that. Bastard. 
Gee, I wonder who's getting that. Nice. Very, very nice. How wonderful. All right, so we got ourselves an amethyst. Damn, that is a gigantic polearm. Uh, what on earth? Man, there is so much down there that I can't seem to get to. Whoops. Drop range. The ice javelin looks better than the icicle drop in every way. I don't know why. Attacks with a block of ice from above causes freezing. Oh, that's why. Yep. We will take the causes freezing. Cancel. Let's just keep the rain going. Uh, okay. Fine. Let's hold up the rain quest. <laughs> rain quest. The rain crest. Let's see if that took care of the ice. Okay. We hold up the wind crest. I mean, that'll turn that on. We still can't seem to go this way. Which I would like to do. Shit. Hmm. That's going to let it lead us down that direction. What am I missing? Well, last time, when I couldn't figure it out, we just kept going. So. Damn it. Let's see what the story is. I'm guessing we're going to get another crest here. Yep, there it is. Okay, and then the sun crest will melt that ice. Perfect. As usual. And then we can go all the way down and see what the hell is the story down. Okay, although we've completed the way up. The way forward is down. Ah. Uh, oh boy. We're gonna have to run up that. Okay. Great. That's, that's just delightful. Man, I'm so looking forward to that. Oh, okay. Those are... Aspected, I guess. So when the sun is out, they turn into that instead. Oh, my greetings. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. We're friendly. Trying to wrap up Eat the Me Rink East 4 memories of Celsetta at the moment. Hopefully, I have better luck with that today than yesterday. Uh, okay, so I need to activate the Wind Crest for that. Do I need to come back this far? Or will the ice reform if I go and act- Oh, shoot. There we go. Catch that guy. Oh, that's going to be bad. Got him. Okay. Oh, never mind. Thank you, ghosty. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Get out of there. There we are. I think we're gonna heal in a second. <laughs> Cause who boy did they fuck us up. All right, let's take that and let's go over the artifact and let's heal. <laughs> I 
Gotta love the bots. <laughs> Our adventure's only just beginning. Uh, actually, at all, the adventure is almost at its conclusion there, buddy. <laughs> or so we can hope. Ay, ay, ay. Man, now I want cookies so bad. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about cookies. Depending on what... I'm, I'm planning to... Well, depending on how long this goes, I guess. If, uh, if Publix is still open, I may go across the street and just pick up some cookie materials. Oh, I want to bake some cookies so freaking bad. Moving. I could just smell them. <laughs> so for anybody that doesn't know me, I am like the ultimate dessert connoisseur. I love baking cookies, brownies, making cakes. Oh, ice cream cake too. Ice cream cake is amazing. I'm not the biggest drinker, but when I do drink, it's going to be Bailey's and probably like chocolate syrup and more of a milkshake than an actual drink. My uh, my sweet tooth definitely governs a lot of my behavior. <laughs> They'll probably turn... <laughs> you never know. I don't... I've never had your cookies. I bet they're probably better than you... Th We're our own worst critics sometime. Um... I'm happy to try cookies anytime, bro. Let's see. What am I doing? Um, right. I am turning off that. We're going to put the nail shoes back on. Oh, let's just go back up here. Oh, shit. That's what I wanted to turn on. Ow! Damn it. I just healed, man. I just want to see if I go up here. Okay, let's hold up the wind crest. Okay, as long as that piece of ice doesn't reform, we're good. Yep, we're f we're fine. Let's head back down. Perfect. That is what I wanted. Whoops. <laughs> Damn it. And I got poisoned. Oh, so lame. Well, let's see what we got. Ooh, saintly robes. Saintly robes. I think I already have saintly robes. I do. You got good shit. Uh, Karna is usually who I use behind all of that. So yes, now she can have saintly robes. Perfect. And if we find Karna's ultimate ability, oh yeah, we're swapping her back out for Frida again. Okay. Oops. Ah, get out of that black hole thing. Ugh. Yeah, the fact that it has, like, a black hole effect is kind of annoying. Ah, damn it. Poison me again. Ugh. Granted, I've got a decent amount of anti-poison shit, but... Unfortunately, these things are not all that hard to kill. Okay, I'm not really sure which one I'm going to need in the moment, so let's just leave that be for the moment. All right, the rain one. Easy enough. Hold up the rain crest. I'm going to need more soda in a second. Okay, so that could be a problem. We're not going to be able to run up that with the water there, but we need the water level up higher to get up here. So hopefully there's another crest up here. Huh. Okay. Ah, okay. So we could go down here, turn off the rain, Yep, that's exactly what we need to do. Marvelous. Okay, 
turn off the rain. We go back up. We use the gale boots to run up. Problem solved. Easy enough. Makes me wonder how the original... If this level even existed in either of the two original East 4 games. Good. <laughs> okay, and then this, if we wanted to go back to the very beginning, we now could. We do not. We do not need to go to the beginning. Damn it. Ah, oh, out of that. Wait, I turned off the... I turned this off. Yeah. That was the whole point of turning that off, man. Ugh. You know what? Maybe there's just an easier... Maybe there's an easier t thing to get to down here. But now we're back at the beginning. Let's just go over here. Ugh. Whatever. Fine. Fine. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye, guys. Hey, send. Maybe the sun is necessary to evaporate it. It wasn't sufficient to, uh... possible. Okay. Yep, that was the case. There we are. <laughs> Much better. Okay. There should probably be a monument up here. Yep. Alright, let's save and see what fresh random bullshit awaits us. And I'll take a quick break, run downstairs, and grab myself another drink. As I brace myself for the last puzzle room level thing. Oh, it's just another one thing that looks like this. Zeravutz, the Silver Colossus. Well, I'm seeing the theme here. Oh, I forgot to activate the flashcard thing. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Whoa, that sucked. Whoops. Didn't actually want to do that yet. I wanted to stun him first, but... We got him. Yeah, 
Damn. Oh. Got him. That was actually a lot easier than I was expecting. Uh, but now we've got the gold area. That stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, I hate these kind of puzzles. And usually Seraph really likes puzzles in most cases. But for whatever reason, I don't seem to cope well with these like circular gear puzzles. Not the biggest fan. But that's all right. Let's cruise over here. Expedite things. All right. Let's do this. Oh, actually, what I should do is warp and uh, upgrade Karna's and uh, Durin's weapons. That's what I should do. Assuming I don't swap them out for anybody. Let's see. It's Frida, Ozma, and Kalilika. Hmm. They're good characters. But I, I really like Karna's range, and Durin does open a lot of the chests that I encounter, so it's just easier to keep him in the party rather than swap him out. I think I'm inclined to keep this party as it seems. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. Can I switch it now? I never actually tried to do that. But let's... Let's just try going up here for the moment. Alright, so I can't go there. Okay. But I can go this way. Let's just see what's over here for the moment. Is there a treasure chest of some sort? Ah, there is. And I already got it. Yes. I should have been doing that a while ago. Okay, this is a good time for me to pause really quick. Let me go get myself uh, a refill on a, on a drink, and I will return extremely shortly. In the meantime, why don't I just run an ad just to delay things? I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I was doing all right until Cleo meowed at me and I had to pet her for a second. <laughs> all right. Get that. Where's my... Went through all that trouble and then immediately left my drink. There we go. go. Okay. Let's resume, shall we? <laughs> Actually, now would be a good time for me to upgrade their weapons. Let's do that. Got an idea? How about you press the wrong fucking button, Seraph? And I haven't done a... I haven't excessively upgraded my party members' weapons because we replace weapons fairly often. It really only made sense to replace... Um... Let's see. Uh, no, we're not replacing... That makes no sense. Three thousand gold to do that. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's do that. one's kind of nice. Let's do it. Poison and burn. Fuck yeah. Alright, cool. That works. Didn't have to, I didn't want to be there excessively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go to the crossroads, and then we'll go back into the gold district. That was worth it. Now when they attack, they'll debuff and inflict status ailments also. Assuming enemies aren't immune to them. Which at this point, a lot of them are. But hey, when it does kick in, it's pretty useful. Okay, so we've already done that. Okay, so there are going to be a lot of cases. So I also don't know what these control panels do, but I guess each of these control panels will also allow me to slide these. So if there's a particularly good looking treasure chest, I can get it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to want. Unfortunately, it looks like it affects... Oh, shit. Um, no, I want to go forward to that treasure chest. Okay, nope, that doesn't actually do what I want. But that was good to know. So what I want is to get up there. Hmm. Okay. So I'm beginning to see the problem here. <sighs> okay, that allows me to get to the center.
Actually, that would allow me to get to that treasure chest that I want to get. Let's do it. Let's go see what that treasure chest is all about, shall we? The bastard still managed to hit us. Didn't kill him there. It's kind of amazing. That's cool and all. I wish I knew what to do with them. I could probably have just made like three super, super awesome super weapons. That's my guess, but I don't know. But I don't know how to actually make it work. All right, let's go back to this control center here. What I may have to do is just get to another control center and try again. Um, I think what I need to do is get to the far end. Right? Is that? Yeah. Wait. No, that doesn't. Yeah, that would line up and not allow me to go through, right? Oh no, it does allow me to go through. Okay. So that would be okay. Doesn't look like it, but it does. That's good to know. Okay, so that's close enough. Still don't think that does me a lot of good. All right, so that lets me get to the middle. But again, I don't know what good that actually does me. That would allow me to get to that control center, though. It's probably easier. Why don't I do that, get to the other control center, and see what's going on? Ugh. It does allow me to... Oh, and there's a door. Great. That's super awesome. All right, well, there's that asshole. Whoops. Okay, that can, that can hit me. That can hit me. That's bad. All right, let's go up here. Okay, so the fact that there's a... The fact that there are doors is kind of a game changer with this. wonder what that door leads. Does the door lead over there? See, these are probably a little less uh, sensical. What the fuck? Damn it. Oh. Ass kicked here. Leave it to me. What the fuck just happened there? Okay, so going through. Th oh, okay. We have to go through those. Okay, we have to go through these doors to open these. Fuck. We're just gonna have to do that. Ugh. That's brutal. And each... Alright, so next time I'll, what I'll do is I'll... Oh, boy. I'll, uh... Oof. Okay. Fortunately, there's a control thing right here. So I could go to the other door. Alright, this isn't gonna be too bad. It's just annoying. I think I've got... Pick this figured out now. The good news is you don't have to complete it in one go. The bad news is they've clearly designed it so that you can't complete it in one go. You kind of have to blunder your way through it. But once we do this, folks, we are going to be very close to the end of the game. Because once these three seals are done, we probably have one little mini level to do, and then there's going to be Gruta and that and however the Mask of the Sun powers him up. 
Wow, we've got so many hit points now, it takes forever for these to heal. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right, let's, uh, items, artifact. Yeah, we'll just go. All right. So we're there right now, and we need to go that way. So... Shit. We only have so many options here, so... <laughs> I mean, we either need to do that, or we need to go that route. Which isn't the end of the world, I guess, but I think we're better off... We're better off going this way. And then, uh... Yeah, we're better off just doing something like that. Alright. That should allow us... Really? Fucker. That didn't connect? Fuck. Alright. Fucker. Okay. Wait. Does that mean none of these will connect? What about that? Okay, that looks like it connects. No, it still doesn't connect because it doesn't connect over there. Oh, man. Well, it'll let us get the treasure chest at least. So why don't we do that really fast and then I'll figure out what the hell I'm doing with that. Damn. The door was the more important thing. A little fresh. Ah, oh, bastard. Oh, we had him there. Okay, how do we get to that? How do we get to that door? Especially since I thought we had connected it, but whatever. Alright. Hmm. No! Ugh. God damn it. Thank you. Why is it skipping? Thank you. Jeez. You know what? That might work. So I can just go up and around and down. That might work. Let's try that. Maybe this will... Yep! It looks like that works. Boy, is that just bizarre and annoying. I'm not a fan of how um, things that look like they're going to connect don't want you actually do it. But whatever. Oh, shit. I should uh equip an anti-paralysis item. Yeah, let's... uh. Oh, you can't equip here. That's fucked up. Okay, we did much better that time. <laughs> we did much better that time. Interesting that they don't let you change your equipment, so those count as mini-bosses. That kind of sucks. But nice to find out now. Alright, we got two of these locks. Man, locks within locks here. Okay. So let's see what's an easier way... Alright, it's probably easier to get out of there. We've probably got another control thing up. Actually, that might be it right there. We go up there, we go down, and then up. 
All right, I think we got it. Get away from it. Oh, uh, we probably do want that treasure chest. Okay, so here's this. And here's the final door. Uh, well, I may as well do it while I'm here. I think that's what I'm going to want. I worry that it's not going to actually connect there, though. It should. Let's find out. Problem is, it looks like it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Damn, how do you get it to connect then? I mean, if I'm right, none of that never connects. That does count. I don't know. Shit. Nope. Still a gap. God damn it. <laughs> that is so frustrating how you could get it to look like that and it doesn't actually connect. For what was a very fun game up until this point, let me tell you, this shit is not fun. I don't know who came up with this. Damn it. And we get to that part where it doesn't actually, but at least we get closer. Now we've got that treasure chest, at least. Thankfully, we could check the map, and it will tell us what far aren't you going. What the fuck? Are you kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my fucking god. That's, that's great. That's great. Thanks for the stairs. Motherfucker. Okay. Shit. So this this outer ring for this part is pointless. It's gonna be something like this. Damn it. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, I know, right? Strap me to the den just here. I hate this shit. Because it also doesn't reflect well of what's going on. <clears throat> I think that's my biggest problem with it. It You can't even tell if it's going to work until you start lining it up. And of course, they don't overlap very well. Um... So yeah, this this sucks. This sucks a lot. 
And it's a, it's unfortunate because prior to this, this game was was a lot of fun. Um, but this shit is not fun. I don't know who thought of this. And it's also awkward to make it interact too. Um, let's just do that and maybe, maybe that'll let us connect to the other control center and maybe we'll have better luck over there. I don't like puzzles. I really do. I love puzzles. I like puzzles in D&D. &D. Um, but yeah, you look at it. Look at this shit. And of course, they set it up. Like, that's so cheap. Fortunately, I had an idea that it wouldn't connect. And so when I did this. But come on. Yeah, that's a gold chest. We're going to want that at some point. Hopefully we can get at it from here at this point save because I don't want to be I want to do as little of this uh, As little of this as possible, you know, usually Falcom and game stuff is really really cool. This is not one of those This is This is not this is just terrible everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure in their heads they were like, oh, this is going to be so epic. But the actual execution of this specific puzzle. I'm not not a fan, not a fan. All right. Now then, let's see if we could figure out how to get to that treasure chest, which again, when you're looking at it from this standpoint, is also awkward as shit to figure out how to even get how you even get to it. But I think that's how I'm gonna walk. I think that's what I want. All right. So, but yeah, you can't even really see the darn uh, the darn thing from here. Okay. So I think that's what I'm gonna want. But it's over there. So maybe something like this. Perfect. Ay, oh, ay, ay. There we go. Still, nothing is worse than the optional puzzle at the end of Persona 5 Royal. And for... I'm not going to spoil anything about that game because I do intend to play it. But for anybody who has played that, there is a there's an extra element to a type of puzzle very similar to like this, where you have to toggle gates open and closed. That to that is still the worst fucking um, type of bullshit I've ever had to deal with. Oh, this one's not even all that. Uh, hmm. You know what? We'll go with that. And then you can go with the saintly robes. There we go. Cool. Perfect. Okay. That was... Again, save. Well, because I don't want to deal with this puzzle more than I already have. See, and when you look at the... Oh, right. Right. Yeah, we're, we're trapped here. That All that did was allow us to get to that. Okay. think that's going to be what I want. <sighs> hey, asshole, what's up? Hey, yep, good. That's why. Okay. Wait, I did save it, right? Yes. Okay. 
We're almost to the end here, people. Once we're done with this puzzle, then then it's SmackDown Gruta time. Interesting ruins, though. Okay, is that the fourth? I think that was the fourth. We're about to find out. There might be one left. Nope, that's the fourth. Good, so now we just have to make our way back to where we were. And I don't think there are any... Oh, there's one other treasure chest in here. Man, fuck that treasure chest. I think it looked like a standard treasure chest. I don't even know if it... I don't even know if it looked like anything I would want. Uh, alright, so... We're golden. Fuck it. Fuck you in particular. If I really wanted to, I could try to manipulate things to get to that other treasure chest. I don't care what's in it. Ah, Ragnarok. Ozma finally has his ultimate weapon. Sacred Mace. Wow. You know what? Kalilika's ultimate weapon might be in there. Sorry, Kalilika. Fuck it. <laughs> they hid your ultimate weapon in a shitty place, and I'm sorry. I'm not getting it. Okay. May we never have to deal with this puzzle again. Uh, yeah, you could see why uh, Freakbot yesterday, why I looked at this puzzle and it went, nope, I'm going to raid Freakbot and get dinner instead. <laughs> I made the right decision. I definitely made the right decision. <laughs> All right, what does this asshole do? All right, that's a pretty wide every effect. Hulagul. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Who's the right <Reichel? laughs> Get me out of here. Ah. Damn. Damn, I'm trapped in here. Hey. Okay. Damn it. Okay, don't let yourself get trapped in that. Oh, God damn it. All right, at least by doing that. Okay. At least I'm able to es escape from taking massive damage. Oh, come on. Damn it. Took damage that time. Fine, I'll use an item and heal myself. Super lame. We got him. Although if he restores, I'm going to have to heal. Fuck. Okay, we got him. I'm looking at my health bar and I'm like, I should heal. <laughs> so 
sort of brute forced it there. But we got all three of our seals. Now we can go beat the shit out of Gruda here. We probably have one more level to do. And then we'll have our last boss. Hopefully level 54 is enough for this. Although it sounds... I, sounds like it's going to be enough. Save. Alright, depart for the central area. And with any luck, end game. So this is the central area. We're finally here. It certainly took us long enough. Lafonts, the highest point is our destination, yes? Correct, it's from there the Akashic Records can be controlled. That's where Gruda would be, all right? This is it, Adol. Hurry now. If he begins interfering with the records, it will be too late. Look at that. More bullshit. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck it. I know I'm poisoned, but to hell with it. Damn. And on the other hand, I don't want to get hit with. Any day that poison wants to end. Whoops, wrong button there. Okay, fine. <laughs> Cure the poison. That's the reason why I bought a billion of those. Still not great. Oh, geez, they poisoned me again already? Whatever. I had a feeling there'd be one there anyway. I wasn't really all that worried about it. It's kind of why I didn't want to even heal if I could help it, but... I don't see Ozma. I don't see Gruda anywhere. Up oh, but there he is. <laughs> so, you've come, Adol Kristen. I must be honest. I've not been expecting you to pursue me this far. But I must praise you for following your heart. It seems you're not all that different from me. <laughs> what? Adol's nothing like you. <laughs> He's exactly like me. Humans are highly inefficient creatures. One just has to look back at history to see the same mistakes made time and again. They know what they must do, and what the future demands for them, yet they ignore it, all to maintain the status quo. The number possessed of the will to discover what is truly necessary and execute it forthwith is almost comically minuscule. Try to deny it all you like, but you know as well as I that I speak only the truth here. You're fucking crazy. You're Kind of right, I guess, but... No. But even the most lax human seeks to survive, threaten to take their life, and they will desperately act to preserve it. 
that essence is what I am seeking to do. Gruda, you... Our ancestors sought to obtain the power of the gods for their own selfish ends. But not I. I seek it to test the potential of humanity, to test whether or not it even has the right to exist. That is the objective of the new generation of Darklings. Now, Akashic Records and Mask of the Sun, lend me your power! <laughs> yep, it's time for Gruda to get a beatdown. Is he trying to copy the functions of the Akashic Records into himself? Not even a god should be able to do such a thing, much less a human. Neither your body nor your spirit will be able to shoulder such a burden. I told you, I will gladly pay any price. I will not stand by idly when I know what must be done. Now at all, overcome my ordeal and show me your true potential. Yep, here we go. <laughs> the false god of Kazality. <laughs> That's a name. Alright. What? Impossible. He absorbed the whole of the Akashic Records. What a terrifying man. Adol. If we don't do something about him right now, the world's going to be rewritten. Adol. 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 It appears that his power is still unstable. This may be our only chance to stop him. Rocky! <laughs> All right. Hey. Okay. Ow, that hurt. That looks bad. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, so that's how this is gonna go. Let's do this. Ow. Thought I was far enough away for it. Shit. I can't really see what's going on here. Oh, I mean, I'm actually being hit at that moment. Damn it. Didn't dodge that. Okay. Ah, okay. I need Karna to really do some damage to that. Man, that thing really fucking tries to hunt you down. Alright, I need to start doing better here. Start dodging that, Seraph. Oh, shit. Okay. That's a fist that comes up. Damn. What the hell happened? Why? I don't understand what's going on. Why can't I go back to Adol? Okay. That was very strange. I'm not even sure what happened there. Did I hit a button wrong or... Damn, I jumped. Oh. 
should have gone right. Him. Oh. Man, how am I supposed to know where the fist is coming from? You know what? I should be doing flash guard instead. I forgot. Wait, what's going on here? What's with this look? Oh. Oops. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Am I supposed to be hitting? Nope. Not supposed to be doing that. There's nowhere for you to run. Not sure what I'm supposed to hit. Okay, well, flash guard. Okay. Ah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. It's timed it. Let's go with this. Since you're right here. Off. Ow. It sucks that it has such a big area of effect, too. <laughs> ah, I mistimed it there. Okay. Oh, somebody's hurt. Items. Oh yeah, you are hurt. So, uh, so you're fighting the entire library of Alexandria. Yes, uh, the entire library of Alexandria became sentient, and I'm fighting it. All right, thousand should be good make my life easier. Yeah, let's do that. I'm starting to figure this out as we go here. Oh. Oops. Okay. So that's the one that we actually need to hit. Oops. We got him. Yep. Come on. Whoops. Yep. Got a bunch of these. Come on. Man. Yeah, you really have to make use of these fast moves. Oh, there we go. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, shit. I got caught in it. Whoops. No, nope, got away from that. Where is it? Come on. Fuck. Alright. Let's do that. Durin. Let's increase you back to a thousand. Same with Karna. We got him. There we go. Now, does he have a second form? Although that was... Honestly, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> this isn't the end. The spirit of the Darklings will live on. Yeah. That's what I worried about. 
No, well, maybe not. The Mask of the Sun is right over there. What, what happened? I think, I think it's over. Whew. I can no longer sense this overwhelming power. It's so quiet. No, hurry up and get that. Okay, oh, overcome Gruda's trial. Yeah, let's grab this damn thing so nobody else can grab it this time. Didn't even hesitate. I ran right to it. What's happening? Eek! An earthquake? Adol, LaFonce. Is that you, Eldiel? What's happening out there? I'm sorry to trouble you after what you meant. Must have been a difficult battle. But please return to the Temple of the Sun as quickly as possible. I'll explain everything to you there. The hell's going on? I, too, am completely uncertain. Adol, we should get back to Lord Eldiel. We won't find any answers standing here. Indeed, I have a bad feeling about this. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I probably could warp, but it's a pretty much a straight run right out, so let's just run out. It is actually pretty beautiful, all things considered. Motherfucker. God damn it! <laughs> Shit. I can't believe I beat- I probably beat this game, and there was a really great set of armor that I could have used if I had just seen it there. Oh, I'm such a stupid son of a man. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so funny. All right. Thank goodness you're all safe. I'm delighted to see all of you again. What's happening, Eldiel? Adol and his friends are victorious, but something's not right. Is this another earthquake? They're happening in our world too? Seriously, I know I said this already, but what the hell's going on? That's what I need to discuss with you. Please, come with this way. Something abnormal is occurring in the Akashic Records? Indeed, I suspect Gruda's actions and Iris created inconsistencies and contradictions within them. I fear that the earthquakes and other odd occurrences are a result of the records, essentially collapsing in on themselves. What's going to happen if that continues? 800 years ago, this region became the Great Forest as a result of the Black Winged One's actions. It wasn't a forest before? It was not. And considering what Gruda's done this time, the consequences are likely to be far greater. At worst, the whole of the western part of the continent may sink into the ocean, with Celsetta at its center. Oh shit. <laughs> no way. Under normal circumstances, I would be able to go inside Iris and repair the records, but the errors now are too extensive. I would have no means of preparing them before significant damage is done. No. Lord Eldiel, is there no other way to stop this from happening? There is one. At all. I would like you... I would like to ask you to destroy the Mask of the Sun. What? The Mask of the Sun is effectively a master key to the Akashic Records. If it's destroyed, then by design, the Akashic Records can no longer exert any influence on this world whatsoever. But wait, is it really okay to do that? I mean, don't we need them? I will not allow this continent to suffer the same fate as my homeland. Lord Eldiel. There is, however, one complication in this plan. The Mask of the Sun cannot easily be destroyed, even by myself. Oh, so how do we... Please consider this a personal request at all. I would like you to hurry to the peak of Mount Vesuvio and cast the Mask of the Sun into the volcano's crater. The mountain with two peaks? Yes, only the energy that flows through the Earth itself is capable of destroying such a powerful artifact. But isn't the route to the volcano crater inaccessible? Not anymore. When I surveyed that area earlier, the earthquakes had caused the fissures in the mountain path to fill. However, the earthquakes have made it much more active than it was before, so it's still a dangerous request. I know this is a tremendously difficult task to entrust with you at all, but I beg of you, please. Lord Eldiel. I'll give it a try. Thank you, Adol, from the bottom of my heart. There is little time remaining. Anything could happen at any moment. I'm sorry to hurry you along, but may I ask you to leave Mount Vesuvio? Leave... 
to leave Mount Vesuvio right away. I think he meant leave for Mount Vesuvio right away. Sounds like this is our only chance to bring everything to an end. And we'll be right by your side, Adol. We've come this far, we can't turn back now. I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't want to have any regrets. Let's see this through. Yes, after coming this far, I could not even consider turning back. Adol Kristen, I leave the fate of this world in your hands. Please take care. Well, I guess the game's not over yet. Ah. If you proceed any further, you won't be able to return. Ah. If you wish to save, it's recommended you use the slot. Okay, fair enough. Let's do this. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Where did these things come from? They're pretty creepy looking. They're like shadows or something. I've never seen monsters like this before. They're coming for us. Okay, so that was not the last battle. Great. We've got some... We've got even more bullshit ahead of us. I wonder how they managed to get inside the temple. I think it would be more appropriate to say that they spawned from within the temple. Lord Eldeal. I fear the distorted Akashic records are beginning to exert an effect on the real world. And those shadows came about. It's probable that similar phenomena are occurring elsewhere in this land as well. Oh boy, that's not good. But if that's the case, then not even this temple is safe anymore. Ozma, something wrong? I will remain here and protect Lord Eldeal. Alone? No, I can't let you do that. I'll stay with you. No. Frida, you and Durin are the most familiar with this area. Your place is with that all now. I will take care of Lord Eldeal. Ozma, thank you. Hey. I don't know this area at all, really, but no better than Adol himself, at least. So I'll stay behind, too. Arna? You're on your own, and the enemy par If you're on your own, and the enemy paralyzes you, it's over. Allow me to make sure that doesn't happen. In Komodo, we always hunt in groups of at least two for that exact reason. Thank you. Your kindness is most appreciated. Thank you so much, both of you. See you again later. Of course. You take care too, everyone. Thank you, Ozma, Karna. We'll be back. Gruda won't do any more harm to Kusel's... Ruta won't do any more harm to Salsetta on our watch. Alright. Well. There are more behind us. Are they following us? Could they be attracted by the Mask of the Sun? Yeah, probably. I don't know, but their numbers sure are growing. This isn't going to be easy. Hey, <laughs> there we go, Leo. Step aside! Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Commander, wait for us! Commander! Don't just leave us behind. Fools! You need more training! <laughs> I'd say they did pretty well just keeping up with us. Well, Remnos is looking better. Leo and Remnos, Sancho and Panza. What are you doing here? We heard everything from the Rota Tree in the Grand Rue. Are you sure? Are you here to help us then? Yeah, <clears throat> just doing my job of giving a report on everything that happens to the Governor General, as well as to Rom. And I troll only trust what I've seen with my own eyes. Is that the reason we're here? Pretty sure I remember the Commander yelling something like, I'm the only one who could save at all before taking off. <laughs> Silence! That's a minor detail. You, at all, don't just stand there. Get going. We don't have all day. We'll take care of everything here. I'm guessing Karna's not with you right now because she's doing the same thing elsewhere, no? <laughs> like sister, like brother. Thank you so much. At all, let's leave this in their hands and get going. Honestly. Oh, dear. No one likes a man who doesn't know when to give up, you know. Or beast, for that matter. Do these even count as men? They're more like... things. Stop messing around, you two! They're attacking! There we go, Lisa. Thank you. Are you alright, everyone? I heard everything from Karna and came to help. Lisa! Please leave this area to me and hurry on ahead, Adol. Are you sure? I am. I'll keep them under control here. I'll stay and fight with you. Yep. Slowly but surely, I'm losing my party here. Saul alone would be at a disadvantage against those shadows due to their nimble movements. So please, let me back you up. As long as it's alright with you, it would be a big help. Of course, it's alright. At all, please stay safe. 
Once I've finished here, I'll be right behind you. Take care, Lisa. Kalilika. Don't do anything stupid. If it gets too dangerous, hop on Sol and get the hell out of here, okay? <laughs> Obviously. I shouldn't want to die here after all. Uh -huh. Take care, everyone. And then there were three. Well, we're back on Mount Vesuvio. Watch out, Frida. These don't seem to be the same as the other shadows. The mask. Return it to me. Gruda? It's like the Akashic Records gave Gruda's obsession a physical form. I don't know if that's possible, but it looks that way. And if they're trying to get in our way, there's only one thing to do. <laughs> Here's something oddly satisfying about attacking Gruda's face with everything you've got. Wow, remind me never to cross you. All right, Edel, let's force our way to the summit. Ow. Well, that sucked. Ow. Fucking hey, Stop hitting me. Oh, stop. Fucking shit. Ow. Fuck. What the fuck's going on here? Alright, let's just keep advancing. Get past that while the jet is going. Okay. There's probably going to be a monument to heal me up. Come on. Thank you. Oh, that jet might turn on in a second. Yep, nope. Well, this is certainly an interesting uh, development. <laughs> oh, that still hit me. Damn. I was actually kind of hoping that the going underneath it would... Uh... Damn. All away from that. Ugh. Yeah, the problem was that damn flame jet showed up at just that moment. Frida, watch out! Ugh. Man. This is pretty bonkers. More? They just keep coming. We're almost at the top. We don't need this. Frida. I'm way ahead of you, Durin. The two of us will stay behind and keep these shadows at bay. Don't worry about us. You're almost to the top. Go on ahead, for us, and for everyone else who lives in Celsetta. Adol. Sorry I couldn't fight with you to the very end, Adol. But I know you'll do what has to be done. It's all up to you now, little buddy. Don't let me down. I won't, I swear. It's a promise then, partner. Durin, Nina, let's show them what the warriors of Nan can do. Go, Adol. Get the lead out. Oh, boy. A phantom Gruda. <laughs> oh, boy. Gruda? At all, Kristen. I've found you. Give it to me. Give me the mask. The power of the gods. Overcome my trials. Kill you. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> yeah, just imagine that, but on repeat now. Just kill, 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 kill. You waste your time. Try this. No escape. Away with you. You waste your time. Stay gone! What are you looking 
Try this! No escape! Pull apart! Try this! No escape! Damn. Take this! Ow, fuck. Stay gone! Nope. Time to finish this! And of course, the fact that all my party members are dead certainly complicates things, but... Still nothing in the face of a god! <laughs> Shit! Couldn't dodge it. I tried to block it. What are you what are you looking at? Come on, buddy. Take this! Damn. Take this! Oh, come on! Away with you! Pathetic! Too slow! Oh, come on, we're so close. Damn it. Hi, cat. I love you. Got him. That was close. <laughs> See if I... Oh, uh, MDK. Oh, they'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, kitty kitty. I love you, cat. Cleo, stop messing with that wire. Hey. No, don't unplug my computer. Why are you so obsessed with that cable lately? Hi, I love you. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to go over this way to turn and toss in the Mask of the Sun. Yep, here we are. All right, let's do this. Good girl, I love you. The boiling lava of the volcano bubbles and froths below you. Will you cast the Mask of, sun, <laughs> mask of the Sun into the crater? I wonder what would happen if you hit no, right? <laughs> but no, we're not going to do a Lord of the Rings thing here. We're just tossing this thing right in there. No hesitation. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, shit. Wrong game. Oh, well, goes the... Yeah, there goes the crown of thunder. So, yeah, all right, wrong game. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine the crown of thunders looks similarly ostentatious. At all. What a fine young man. I couldn't agree more. I'm more than fortunate to have been able to meet someone like him before my final rest. You're determined to go through with this, then? Mankind has become much stronger than it was in the age of the gods. The Akashic Records have lost their power, and my duty has been fulfilled. I can now rest in peace. At all, Are you alright, at all? Yeah, all right. I forgive you for completely fucking this up and giving the Mask of the Sun to Gruta in the first place. Are you all right at all? Did you save me? Yes. I'm so glad I made it in time. I was almost too late. I knew the volcano had become more active, but I never expected it to erupt. El Duke is far too dangerous right now, so I'm taking you back to Danan. How's everyone else? <laughs> They're all perfectly fine. They're all me They'll be meeting us in Danan. Nina informed me of their safety just a moment ago. <laughs> Escorting you like this reminds me of the time we first met. You never stopped asking me questions from the minute I first laid eyes on you. Come to think of it, I wonder what knowledge Lord Eldiel had intended to give you. At all? Oop. And we're about to get that. I see. That is a shame. I was hoping I could count on you as the one to discover a route to the Western world, represented by Europe, and to the Eastern world, which remains an as-of-yet uncharted territory. I had never expected to hear an 18-year-old say that he wished to explore the entire world alone, without shortcuts. Now I feel hesitant to ask anyone else. 
Well then, Adol, if I cannot impart knowledge upon you, will you at least allow me to give you a name? Naturally, I don't mean an actual name, as you have a fine name, a fine one of those already. I simply wish to give you a title. I'm certain that your limitless curiosity will grant dreams to the people you meet as you travel the world. Let me see, what word would be most appropriate to describe a remarkable individual such as yourself? How about adventurer? Adol's chronicle of the events that occurred in the Great Forest of Silsetta comes to an end here. How did the residents of the forest whom Adol encountered during his adventures live out the rest of their lives? How was the existence of the primeval lands handled by Governor General Griselda following these events? Adol's account provides more questions than answers, and gives us many things to consider. You can't go that way, Cat. What wisdom did Eldiel intend to bestow upon him, and what is it ever given? There are no records of it today, if so. <laughs> oh, this is the Fast Times Where Are They Now section, yep. In truth, much of the content of this tale is speculative, as Adol left many details vague and open to interpretation. In other words, there were two separate games that we merged into one. <laughs> But perhaps the fact that he chose to end this particular travelogue here, in this manner, is meant to... It's meant as an important message all its own. I kid you. I love you. That's my theory anyway. Stop. You can't go there. I love you. But you just get into trouble when you go over there. I love you. <laughs> good girl. I know, you're a good kitty kitty. There we go, let's have some credits. Actually, Cleo, you chose a good time to come up here. <laughs> I know, I love you too. You like your pet? Hmm? Need a pet? No, you can't go there. No, you can't go there. I love you. You can go anywhere in my house, except behind the monitor. Seriously, you can go anywhere in the house you want. You just can't go behind the monitor. <laughs> that is a very recent obsession with my cat to do that. She, she started doing that like a couple of weeks ago. And I'm not really sure why she started to do this. Can't do that. You got into trouble the last time I let you go past the microphone arm. Yeah. Why don't you just lay down, honey? There you go. Lay down. There you go. Good girl. Hi. I know, you're my good cat. <laughs> Her over there. Hello, Cleo. Ah. So we've now beaten East 4. I think I'm just going to let these credits play for a minute. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. <laughs> Although what I may do is I may just fire up the TurboGrafx ROM just to see what it looked like, because I don't think I've actually attempted to play it. It might be neat just to like fire it up just to see what the opening sequence looks like. I'm not going to play it, but this might be a good time to look at it. Cleo's literally looking at the screen, watching the credits. <laughs> she saw the paper airplane bird and all of a sudden just perked up. It's like, cat, that's not a real bird. <laughs> She's such a goober. But you're my goober and I love you. You say do. Oh, you like the chin scratch? Yeah, you like the chin scratch. <laughs> right, Rob? She's she is a good friend. She's an asshole, but oh, there we go. L deal with the ruse. 
So uh, the Rue, uh, it's not the... Um, the Rues will appear in other games as well. Oh, okay. See you, cat. You, you don't want any of your water, cat? No? Okay. I love you. But all in all, solid game. Had to get some of the fur off the monitor. So did Adol get his memories back? <laughs> like, what gives? So literally, we just have one cameo of Dogi in the entire game. That's it. <laughs> Seriously? And I'm sure there's a lot we didn't actually do. Oh, about clear data. Load it from the title screen. Allow you to start a new game with your current party progression. Oh, that's neat. About new game plus. Yep. Uh, no, we're not. We're not doing new game plus here. But we'll s sure, we can. We could save there. That's fine. We'll overwrite that and we'll call that game data. Are you want to show your closed menu? Yes. Let's do that. All right. So we completed the main story. Woohoo. That is, that was, that completes East 4 Memories of Celsetta. I'm actually curious how many achievements we managed to do in that first playthrough. How many did we actually get? Uh, we got 20 out of 52. That's actually not so bad considering we kind of just blew through it. Um, let's just, for my own amusement here, let's go take a look at it. Let's go fire up the Nafi. Let's actually just see what East 4, the 1993 version, looked like. Uh, that's the SNES. There it is. Oh, and it's a perfect. Yep, English text plus dub. Sweet. Let's go find out. Let's let's see what this is like. Just for the amusement of it. Um, you should be seeing the run screen here. Come on. Come on, grab it. There we go. Perfect. Good. <laughs> just take a minute or two just to see. I've actually never even fired this up, so I'm I'm just morbidly curious. One of these days might actually play this. Well, I guess they're just showing us the events of East 2 here. My followers and I are here in the dark magic of the black can't stand a chance against my forces of decimation. Typical 90s flashing lights and all that. It looks very similar so far Technolo uh, from a technology standpoint. Oh, the game is just going to literally start. Hey, Adolf. Look. Hysteria. We're almost there. 
Oh yeah, you could definitely tell this is a fan dub. Can you believe <laughs> you've been gone for two years? I wonder how much it's changed. Hey, did you hear? Unfortunately for Pim, the boss went and opened himself a store. Minnie's got two of them now. Can't wait to see that. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Finally, we've reached Barbado Port. Now, if this is the case, I'm, I'm just going to exit the game. I thought there would be at least an opening cinematic we could take a look at, just to kind of, just to see. But, uh, wow, they just kind of open it right up to you, huh? Interesting. Yeah, they do. Huh. Very so oh, there. Hey, Doggy, is that you? And that's... Adol. Hey, boss! It's been a long time, you jackass! You just <laughs> almost two years ago! Uh, come on, boss, don't be like that. We, we heard you'd open the store and decided we'd come visit. I see. In that case, I'll go easy on you. I'm glad you came too, Adol. Follow me. Everyone will be in shock. Needless to say, the uh, first boss of the game, right? <laughs> this area has changed a lot since last you saw it. Nothing's changed more than you, eh? So yeah, the remake was much better. <laughs> Needless to say. My guess is this was one of the last games kind of made for the Turbo Graphics. At least some things are still the same around here. Then you shouldn't call me boss anymore. I'm now Mr. Goban of the train. Yeah, I, I I think we've seen enough of this. <laughs> Unless I ever actually play this. Let's uh <laughs> let's let's dial that down. Uh but anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming out as we beat East 4, Memories of Solsetta, and boy oh boy. Boy, uh, that was, yeah, looking at the original TurboGrafx version, that is that is definitely rough around the edges. Let's see if there's anybody we could raid out to. Um, kind of stopped uh, pretty early today. Um, let's see. Oh, Aussie's on. Let's go raid her. It's been a while since we've, we've seen her. Uh, let's go check out and see what's going on there. In the meantime, let's fire up my ending stream section here. Uh, I'm planning to resume on Tuesday night, and we'll see if I'm playing Fallout 4 uh, or if we'll start something new. I mean, for all I for all I know, I might even just start East 5. So East 5 was for the Super Nintendo, and that, from what I understand, was not a good game. <laughs> but as you guys can tell, at this point, we're sort of committed to playing all the East games. And so I'm kind of just curious to see now uh, what it might actually uh, kind of be like here. So now I'm, this is going to be like a morbidly curious how how bad, how really bad is East 5? And so we're going to find out. But, uh, and, but at some point, I don't know if that's going to be Tuesday. I think Fallout 4 is going to be Tuesday. At some point, I'm going to start playing a different game um, because I don't want to just play Fallout and East all the time. And so we'll, we'll just kind of see how that goes. But in the meantime, that's my plan at the moment. So that's the big channel update at the moment. We're going to raid Aussie. She's playing Chain Together, which is basically like Only Up. But in my opinion, it's a slightly better version of Only Up. want to thank everybody for coming out on this delightful Sunday evening. I hope everybody's weekend is going well. I hope everybody has a great week. And until next time, I will talk to you all approximately later. <laughs>